A Tupelo teacher is proof that hard work and lifestyle changes can bring a long-lasting result. Allie Martin recently visited the music teacher at Thomas Street Elementary, where she's an inspiration to her colleagues and students. Thomas Street music teacher Leanne Barnes always pushes her students to do their best. She also pushes herself to do more than expected, whether in the classroom or her favorite pastime, long distance running. Barnes recently ran the New York City Marathon representing Team TCS, which supports teachers. I had been doing half marathons for about the past 11 years. It had been 11 years since I did a full, and I was uh, excited that I was able to complete it standing up. For Barnes, running, along with lifestyle changes such as sticking to a healthy diet, has transformed her life. 20 years ago, Barnes weighed nearly 300 pounds. She began making lifestyle changes one step at a time and I started a walking program back in about 2007. And after I got through um, walking, I started deciding that it would be a good idea to run. My mother passed away from breast cancer and I decided to enter the um, breast cancer 5K. And once I entered that, I was hooked on running. A setback in 2016 temporarily derailed her running. Then I went through some physical changes that women tend to go um, through in their late 50s. And as a result of that and just falling off the bandwagon, I quickly regained 100 pounds. And that was a dark time in my life. I could not run anymore and um, I became depressed. Um, but I decided to undergo um, vertical gastric uh, sleeve surgery and I got back on the track and lost that 100 pounds and I'm back running again. Barnes completed the Chicago Marathon a month before the New York Marathon. She has also run 37 half marathons in 17 states. Barnes hopes her story inspires others to make healthy choices and she also wants to encourage and motivate her students. I've noticed um, some students, especially the hard to reach students, tell me, you know, Miss Barnes, you did something really hard. You ran a marathon. And if you can do hard things, I can do hard things too. Um, just in the past week, I've had a student tell me that they've learned to do something hard. They've learned how to tie their shoes. And I had another student tell me that they have uh, learned how to do um, subtraction with borrowing. Barnes says she is also inspired by her students. In fact, she dedicated the New York City Marathon to all of her classes at Thomas Street Elementary. Telling your story in Tupelo, Allie Martin, WCBI News. Barnes and her husband plan to eventually run half marathons in all 50 states.